Okay, yeah. What is this, Sheldon? Well, when I was researching Solis and your father's situation, I heard about an old agency outpost used to be near here. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I didn't want to get your hopes up, but thought we might find something out about your old man. Uh, this was his project, after all. Let's see here. has been here a while. At least 30 years, I'd reckon. A surveillance outpost. This must have been where they kept tabs on the Ayapa project. Espinoza, your dad, and the weather technology. How long has the agency known about these? Here. This looks like a good place to start. Hey, still works. The Yaba project. This is interesting. What did you find? Surveillance footage. Your dad's name is in the file. Miguel Rodriguez. Play it. Do you have any idea what I sacrificed for Project Yaba? Miguel. No, I refuse to play part in this any longer. Good luck finishing Iapa without me or my work. If Miguel Rodriguez is allowed to leave this project, he'll be a serious liability. If we were to take care of that liability now, Lanza Morales' work on Zona Uno would suffer. No, let Miguel leave. Let Lanza hear that he reunited with his family. Then what? I have Black Hand in Medici under the command of Sebastiano Di Ravello, who, last I checked, is in the agency's pocket. I need to speak to General Di Ravello. <sighs> Thank you for your contribution to Project Diapa, Miguel. <laughs> Rico, I had no idea. You gotta believe me. It never made any sense why Di Ravello killed my parents. It was the agency and Espinosa using that idiot dictator's crew as a cover. How could you not know anything about this? I didn't know anything about Project Iapa or your parents or any of this back then. I was brand new at the agency. This sort of thing was way above my pay grade. I only had orders to save you. I'll tell you this, kid. You and me? We're gonna end Oscar Espinoza and take out Project Iapa together. I knew the agency was dirty, but... Look, why don't you head topside, get some fresh air. I'll keep snooping around here, okay? You let me know if you find anything else. Dean and ready to go. You? Nothing to report. Everything okay? You sound... Bring it down. Okay.
Nice. I feel like the game's gonna drop something on me in a second, but yeah. And yeah, Muse. <laughs> Not to quote you, I really thought he was examining the stone. Be like, ah, yes, this is the stone. And yeah. Like, um, yeah, Rico's parents were killed in a fictional Mediterranean island nation of Medici during a coup. He joins the agency kind of soon afterwards, leads into the other games, etc., etc. Et and let's. Uh, I unlock a railgun from this. Oh, nice. Actually, let me edit. Do some reptile A AAV. Uh, heavy weapons. L gun. Right. Ah, here it is. Control the return to Zone Dos in the Kinku region or Meteor Lab. Or in this region to activate the lightning core on demand. With cool. So we can activate and deactivate the lightning storm at a press of button. Oh. And yeah. Yeah, in earlier games you would talk about his family. I never played the third one. I've played the second and I played a demo for the first one, but Yeah. Peek. Okay. If I can... Okay, that was incredibly sloppy, but... That's it. That's the shot. And apparently Garland was filming that. Alright. All right. All right. So after that big reveal, let's, um, I could activate this DLC, which activates this whole thing with weird monsters and stuff, but I kind of want to hold back on that. But that said, I think advancing and just kind of circling around wouldn't be a bad idea. Especially since I think the first DLC content pack whatever deal is around here. Which may be fun. But let's see here. Not mm. oh, yeah, let's since I took out two of the zones, which took out two of the defense towers for the main machine, I think. Let's... Wait, what's this? Scene, Vanessa. Vanessa! Garland King promises the scene will be among her most iconic. The terrain represents Rico's internal emotional wasteland. Now let, let's mess around with doing car stuff for a bit. Because I think the DLC thing I'm messing with is some car stuff, which, like, I got them on during, uh, when they were on sale from some Christmas money. I was like, no, what? They're on sale. I'm honestly having a blast with this game. Let's, uh, the DLC were, like, all in, uh, an expansion pass oh, sort of deal. So I was able to get them all for, like, ten bucks. When the expansion pass normally, like, thirty, I'm like, no, it, I'm having tons of fun with this game. Getting that wouldn't hurt. And honestly, some of the car races in this are fun. Like, the, the car driving can be really fun in this. Also jank, but also very fun if things go well. And something exploded off in the distance, but 
Let's not think about that now. Yeah, ten bucks isn't like I'm like no I I don't like like I down. how far oh, got gunned she's down. talking you're afraid afraid vulnerable even the hitman's in the other car so you drive like hell <laughs> all right well here for that I think back when I was playing this before I pretty much did most all the cities and cleared them out completely and gone cleared out areas like up to here i think the only area i didn't really get was like these desert areas so like i pretty much played through most of, like most of this game before and i'm like no i'm having fun doing it you just again. gotta hit the marks we've laid out fast as you can i'll make sure we look cool And yeah, like when they're in a car that handles well enough, driving can be fun to this. So I was like, no, oh, yeah, let's go get all of them. Because I know one is more car focused, car like weird underground street races and whatnot with cars with like cannons on them or some nonsense. I'm like, no, that could be fun. The other ones were like more like normal action back stuff. What involves terrain. fighting the agency? It's a reflection of your inner turmoil. Oh god. Remember, uh, pain. I'm sorry. Anguish. I don't do anguish. I'm sorry. You will when the effects department is done with you. <laughs> also, I forgot that, yeah, this is this uh, zone's defense. A perpetual what? sandstorm. So yeah, that's the so I can see uh, anything. Killed by the agency, but sure, you don't do English. Also, I forgot that we drive through an active fucking the Black Hand base and they're shooting at us with sentry turrets. Oh boy. Alright, here we come. It's hopeless. You drive your car off the bridge and into the abyss below. And when you do, just scream, Vanessa! Who is Vanessa? Totally can imagine Rico just receiving emails of these scripts and just refusing to read them. Vanessa. Parachute. Later. Nice jump. Lots of panache. You can head back to your trailer or your tree, wherever you go when you're not on set looking pretty. That was some smooth I couldn't. steering. Thanks, man. I wanted the car to blow up, and I can guarantee that if I could have jumped out of it. The problem was I couldn't parachute jump out of it so that I wouldn't die. <laughs> Um, and Pimon, uh, my parents are dead, Ralph, Raphael Cowabunga. God, he's such a bad actor. Does Rico know what emails are? Uh, 
Even after being reminded, he didn't say anything. Good job, Rico. Yeah, no, Senor Rico is a bad actor. Rico Rodriguez, leader of the big, bad army of chaos. Who is this? Your army's having some... trouble. What kind of trouble? I'm sending you coordinates. Nos hablamos. <sighs> no, it... Yeah. yeah. No, wait, you stay here, car. Pat, pat. Uh, <laughs> um, that said, let's take care of this. I think, and then move here, because whoever's threatening us. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, Oconegro shut down. The oil refinery is automated. Hack the system, take over the network, rendering the mine defenseless. Alright. You got time? There's a refinery nearby you should check out. A refinery? See, si, part of Mina Roca Negra. Most of it's oh, yeah, this game has heavy motion no blur. It means a lot of plata coming to us and a lot less to the Black Hand. Good thinking. I'll be in touch. Also, uh, one thing I love about this game is that it's kind of... Okay, this game is very pro, just blow everything up, but it's just like... It, that includes places that you're planning to take over for the army of chaos. So it's like, oh, there's an oil refinery? We can just blow it up, whatever. we will fix it, I guess. Don't worry about it. Izzy thinks we can take that mine without firing a shot. Eh, we can try that. No, really my style, but... There's a console you need to access in the refinery basement. <clears throat> Looks like only those big mine trucks get through this gate. Uh, try looking in the mine for one? They're not easy to miss. I could use this. Um. <gasps> this thing's huge. Try not to run over anybody, Rico. Nobody wants to work at Mina Roca Negra. What about the Black Hand? Roll those who have put us over, man. One of my friends from the um, army of chaos. Uh, I'd rather keep the radio on, but I don't want copyright strikes. <laughs> this thing is so fucking big. <laughs> Did he hear that? Rico just kind of just. I barely heard it, but it's just like, ah, these things are just so fucking big. It's like, yeah, they sure are, Rico. <laughs> also, I'm going 98 kilometers per hour, which, kilometers per hour compared to miles per hour, like, there's some, there's some difference there, but like, that's still much faster than I thought something like this could uh, go. <laughs> uh, now let me just quote that, Pidmon. More like, dick me Q ass. Hey. But yeah, seriously. I know one video, or several, maybe, got like, they didn't get like, copyright strikes, but they're like, oh, they got copyright claimed. Going 
incredibly s <laughs> Alright, let me leave. Hostile hasn't re-engaged. Eyes open for further contact. Found your console, Izzy. Well, sorry. Let me in. I need to raise the transmitter. Are you still alive? All right, you're still alive. Sorry about that. Take it away. Okay, I have access. This could take a minute. Rico, you better check on those transmitters. We need them to take control of the base. On my way. I'm actually. I may grab one of the weapons here. Yeah, Kuhn said it's to, to fit with the Acnum. Yeah. Lock on target, yeah. I think rocket launchers may be useful here. Um, I dropped the wrong gun. You know what? I'll get the right gun over here. Only one transmitter is up, you see. Working on it. Just worry about the black hand. Unauthorized system access at Mina Rocanilla. Terminate that uplink at all costs. You're right, Sargento. They're attacking the transmitters. You know what to do. Um. Where's... Oh, hey, there's the helicopter. Thanks for, uh, leaving this unmanned. Okay, I'm surprised there aren't more coming after me currently. I'm used to there being, uh, more helicopters or something. Well, I'm guessing with the other transmitters, there'll be more coming. Okay, you're just a civilian. Alright. Wait, who's... Who's... Who's shoot what? Refinery processes. Bringing up the next transmitter. Watch for enemy paratroopers, Hefe. Paratroopers, huh? Wait, whoa! Huh? Um. Can I? Um. Can I crash into you? In the this is incredibly awkward for everyone involved. Can I? That was a close call with that plane. Also, I need to do some emergency maneuvers. And secondly... Quick drop one of these. Supply drop is on its way, hermano. I've got 
Got phones and security systems from this transmitter. You're not tired, are you? Me? Never. Bien. One more to go. Also, yeah, I called in a little drone that should help with, like, small enemies like that. Okay, yeah, it just took out the paratroopers. Or what remained of them. Anything else awkward gonna happen? Alright. Who's shooting? Really? Really? You think that's a, you think that's a good idea? Alright. Cool. This could have gone worse, but because I guess because they don't technically see me my heat rating or whatever it's called in this series like isn't going up too high okay this was the last dynamic that I was hoping it would be but I mean I mean all right all of the systems are ours we did it total control Now control this region. And we can all now call in <laughs> big dump trucks. Alright. Now it's getting close to when I normally stop playing, so I think. Easy, you're oh, we're gonna... I could argue. You'd better not. We done here. <laughs> See, and so are the black hand. Mina Roca Negra is a sitting duck. <laughs> We're gonna badger this enemy surveillance plan. And by badger, I mean annihilate it. And yeah, it, it honestly did take some self control, not literally blowing up everything in this refinery. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Guess I'll just chill and park. But yeah, I think next time we'll start the underground street racing stuff and probably also take control of some of the uh, surrounding territories. I should... But, not yet. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll stream. I'll try to keep streaming around uh, you know, Thursdays uh, 8pm EST and yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's always weird for me to end a stream, but thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, and I hope you have a wonderful night or evening, depending on the time zone. Later, y'all. Alright, my mic did some weird stuff, but anyway, later y'all. Now I can actually end the stream.